Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby, baby. Thor News presents. Pay attention. Don't pay attention. No question is dumb. That was a dumb question. Don't ask any questions. Baby, I need your love. Asterisk. <laughs> Astronomers estimate that more than half of the stars in the galaxy have companions. There are double, triple, and even quadruple star systems. There are dwarf stars, giant stars, dead stars, exploding stars, binary stars. A star with spiral arms. So we're perfectly safe here on Earth. Ladies and gentlemen, I regret to inform you. The Space Duck of Doom is back, and it's angrier than ever. Now, what's really weird is, pretty sure it's the Beehive Galaxy, but I made a video on it way back, because it literally looks like it's flapping its wings. Though we only get it for one or two frames here. You know what, and I bet there's a dude out there going like, Are you serious? Are you telling me that Thor News made a video because the little schmegma thingy in the corner looks Kind of like a bird duck pterodactyl. You're going to waste your time making a video on that? Mr. Hotshot, think you make great videos. Well, no, jerk. Let's watch, then. If you got to be captain, step in my britches. All right, watch this. See if you detect anything abnormal. See anything abnormal yet, bucko? Anything out of the ordinary? Anything? You notice anything? Okay, yeah. Now, the sun is over here. Right? It's just off camera. You can't point a camera right at the sun unless it's, it's got a bunch of special magic filters. And the Mysterio Head HI1 camera does not have that. So now, let's start out. These are what I've called our gravitational waves. And apparently they meld it onto the camera lens. And then they go away. Notice there's a six day gap in the info. It's out of focus. So they return the gravitational waves. For lack of a better term, the solar gravitational waves are back on the 8th. Then on the 9th, still there on the 9th. Hey, it's the freaking 10th and they're still there. Now it's the 11th, they are still there. And the space duck of doom is back. Grab your panic cuddling partner now. Please remember to use protection. Well then, and if you don't have protection, just stop at third base, man. That way everybody can still go home happy. All right, you gotta stop before you get too creepy. You can kind of see the flappy flap. And then so, this was the frame. Well, I came over and did a video. So we went from gravitational waves to our duck of doom to this. Three anomalies for sure. And the sun happens to look totally gnarly nasty. Like it had been rode hard and put up wet. Looks like a basketball made out of crackers. Anyway, this one's got to be light, short, sweet, and easy. I got worky work to finish that I'm pretty late on. And clients get upset if you don't hit deadlines. And man, I've had problems with deadlines my whole life. Because I'm a perfectionist. You know? Anyway, tell me what you think. Peace out, party people. And over at spaceweather.com. And over at spaceweathergallery.com. Oscar Martin Meso Nero from the OSAE. Took a picture of the solar flare on January 12th. Which was yesterday. We've still got C71. The, what I think is an M-class solar flare is still in progress at the moment. Okay.